Hello and welcome back to another video in this video series on property graphs. In the last videos we have seen uh, what property graphs are, different extractors and retrievers in uh, acquiring and building property graphs, right? So in this video we will specifically build property graphs using Neo4j as well as we will customize the retrievers uh, whatever we have discussed, uh, the implicit path uh, retrieve, uh, extractor and then uh, simple LLM path uh, extractor schema llm path extractor and different retrievers vector context retriever llm synonym retriever and uh, text to cipher retriever a uh, cipher template uh, retriever so we'll use all these things customize the uh, property graph uh, creation using neo4j so as said uh, we'll use uh, mr lay llm and then embedding model and then uh, graph store for neo4j so we need you need to install all these uh, packages uh, beforehand uh, let's get started with it so before that we need to uh, set up the uh, neo4j docker setup so, uh, so we need to run this command um, so uh, for logging into the neo4j database so let's run with it um, let me copy and then so here and this will create the uh, server backend so yeah so this is actually uh, started and then you can see uh, it is located at this uh, let's copy this you need to log in there um, I think so here it is we we'll just paste it up and then the default uh, username and password is neo4j so neo4j and then neo4j so let's connect with it and then uh, it prompts us to uh, set new password we'll have new password llama index and yes change password okay now we are connected here so now let's uh, go and continue our process of uh, building with neo4j okay so let's run let's run it here set the api key get the llm and embedding model uh, download the data we'll use polygram as a text then load the data and then we'll have the graph store uh, which is uh, neo4j property uh, graph store and then a username password and the, the url for it okay and now that we have it uh, so we can just uh, plug in our proper uh, property graph index from documents documents embedding model what is a kg extractor we'll just use simple lm path extractor here and then what is the property graph store which is graph store with uh, with neo4j right so let's define this and create it and it's creating extracting the triplets now and then uh, it will then create the embeddings after that when this is done you can actually set the llm and embedding model and then uh, we have seen the retriever right uh, we'll use llm synonym retriever and vector context retriever here so uh, LM synonym retriever and uh, vector context retriever provide the LLM and then embedding model. Once you have these retrievers, so you can plug in these retrievers as sub retrievers uh, into retriever module and start asking questions. And then you can even have the uh, query engine created for it as well. Okay, so I think the embeddings is done. Now let's set it up and then you can have these retrievers created and also you can use these retrievers and then retrieve the relevant nodes right so yeah so all these uh, triplets have been uh, retrieved for this qu question what did author do at uh, by web right and then similarly uh, querying as well you can do the same so so this is the answer generator for the given query uh, based on the retrieved nodes 
right so this is how you can build uh, a property graph with uh, neo4j um do experiment with different combination of retrievers and then extractors and then see how the outputs are changing and what is working for your use case see you in the next video thank you